Item number SCP-2598 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2598 is to be contained in a standard insectoid containment cell at Site-19. This cell is to be fitted with a food supply capable of sustaining SCP-2598 indefinitely, as well as a hanging light source. Personnel who wish to interview SCP-2598 must first complete 20 hours of training in American Morse code. SCP-2598 is a large yellow underwing moth, Noctua pranuba, wearing a small helmet. Apart from this and its behavior, no other anomalous characteristics are discernible. SCP-2598 is able to communicate with humans by colliding with their heads in a pattern consistent with American Morse code. While SCP-2598 is apparently able to hear and understand English, it is only able to communicate a return message in this manner. Despite having been offered specially designed automatic translation pads with which it could collide, SCP-2598 has thus far seemed either unable or unwilling to use any such device. During conversation, SCP-2598 will invariably attempt to redirect the conversation towards a sales pitch for, specifically, a helmet designed for moths. Interview 2598-1 The following interview was conducted by Dr. Richard Eads, who initially discovered SCP-2598 while on location in Dr. Eads was chosen as the research team leader because of his efforts in containing SCP-2598 and its fluency with Morse code. During this interview, Dr. Eads remained seated in SCP-2598's containment cell while SCP-2598 communicated to him via its preferred method. All replies were transcribed by Dr. Eads. Can you hear and understand me alright, SCP-2598? Yes, hello, Doctor. I can hear you just fine, thanks to the sound amplifying technology of Mothhelm. Excellent. Now, SCP-2598, could you tell me anything about where you originated from? I was once like you, Doctor, and like everybody else out there with no purpose in my life until I discovered the beauty of Mothhelm, also safe for children, no chance of getting stuck in throats. I see. So you're saying that you were unable to comprehend spoken language, or communicate as you can now before you came into possession of the helmet? It was like a door being opened before me, Doctor, and I could see the light. It was all possible because of Moth Helm, which you yourself can own today is for as little as three easy payments of $19.99. You're aware, of course, that I could not possibly wear such a helmet. It's far too small. SCP-2598 pauses for 20 seconds is observed spinning counterclockwise around its containment cell light. Yes, but perhaps you have some moth friends who could benefit from the transcendent power of Mothhelm, also is a great stocking stuffer. End transcript. <laughs>